Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Sheil learns what happened to Sugar, and to Steffi, and Finn makes his mother a promise. The bold and the beautiful Steffi confides in Liam that her marriage can't take any more of Sheila. All products and services featured are independently chosen by editors. However, Soaps.com may receive a commission on orders placed through its retail links, and the retailer may receive certain auditable data for accounting purposes. At Deacon's place, Deacon and Finn keep hydrating Sheila with bottles of water. Finn wants her to go to the hospital, but she thinks she has the best doctor right here. Sheila says they have to find Sugar, she's a danger to Steffi and the kids. She cries Sugar wants to hurt her family to punish her. Finn promises Sheila that won't happen, Sugar and nobody will ever hurt her again. Sheila changes out of her bathrobe and asks Deacon how he found her and how he knew about Sugar. He explains it wasn't easy, but he found the texts from Sugar and talked to Lauren, who was in town, about her. Lauren explained who Sugar was, and that made him realize he wasn't seeing things. He says they had a memorial service for her. Finn says Deacon wanted to give her a proper goodbye. Deacon explains it was her nine toes that helped him figure out she was alive. Sheila is confused. They sit down and Deacon explains he went to say his final goodbyes at the crematorium. Sheila doesn't understand. Deacon says he went to her cremation, and Sheila realizes it was sugar they cremated. He says he saw ten toes and figured sugar must have taken her. Finn and Deacon tell her about going through her credit card receipts, tracking her to a strange part of town, and finding out where she was, thanks to a homeless man. Sheila can't believe Deacon and Finn, her love and her son, saved her life. Sheila asks how Sugar died. Deacon says it must have been the night she tried to stop her. Finn says it was Steffi, she killed Sugar thinking it was her. Deacon explains everyone thought Sugar was her. He and Finn recount how Sugar went to Steffi's, the power was out, and she broke in. They relay that Steffi grabbed a knife to defend herself and stabbed Sugar in the heart. Sheila can't believe Steffi thought she killed her. Finn says it's okay now, and his wife didn't kill his mother. She notes you called me your mother. Finn says she is his birth mother, and losing her made him realize the connection they have is real. He admits it killed him that despite everything that happened, he wouldn't see her again. Now he knows his mother tried to save Steffi, just like she did with Kelly at the beach. He sees who she is working to be, and he knows she and Deacon keep saying she has changed, and now he believes in her. Sheila is moved to tears, and they embrace. Sheila says, My precious baby boy, I love you. I never want to be apart from you again. He promises she won't ever be without him. At the cliff house, Steffi and Liam wait for Kelly to get home from a date with a friend, and they both are still relieved Sheila is gone. Liam knows Steffi's been dealing with a lot, and has put Sheila behind her. She's trying, but she's more concerned about Finn. Liam thought she and Finn dealt with Finn's Sheila baggage. She just has this weird feeling thanks to Deacon, who is stressing out Finn with his talk that Sheila is alive. She knows he's not in a good place. Steffi calls Finn but gets his voicemail. Liam says he may be working. Kelly returns home, and she tells her dad she went to a bed store and got supplies so they can make bracelets. Liam sits down with Kelly and they make bracelets for one another. Steffi tells Kelly she needs to wash up, but Liam says he's not leaving yet. Kelly says she's so happy when they are all together and hugs her dad. Kelly goes to her room to read and Liam thanks Steffi for giving him all this time with her. He knows it's complicated and weird what with her and Finn. Steffi worries that Finn still hasn't called her back. Liam thinks it will just take time for them to get back on track after everything that happened. Steffi says Finn's relationship with Sheila is complex, and she doesn't know how much more of Sheila their marriage could have taken. She vows Sheila is out of her and Finn's life for good. Next week, the bold and the beautiful. Steffi gets a major shock thanks to her not actually dead mother-in-law. Sheila had always been a keen observer, but on that humid summer day, as she sat on the porch swing of her quaint farmhouse, she couldn't help but feel a restless energy bubbling within her. The rhythmic creaking of the swing echoed her inner turmoil, mirroring the sway of her conflicted thoughts. Sheila glanced at the sun-drenched fields stretching out before her, where Sugar, her beloved old mare, grazed lazily. The horse had been her faithful companion for years, a constant presence in her life since she was a child. 
but lately Sugar seemed to have lost her usual vigor, her once bright eyes clouded with a strange melancholy. Concern gnawed at Sheila's heart as she watched Sugar, wondering what could be troubling the gentle creature. Was it simply old age creeping up on her, or was there something more sinister lurking beneath the surface? Lost in her thoughts, Sheila didn't notice the sound of approaching footsteps until a familiar voice broke through the silence. Hey there, Sheila, called out Finn, her neighbor and longtime friend. He walked up to the porch with a warm smile, his hands tucked casually into the pockets of his faded denim jeans. Sheila greeted him with a nod, grateful for the distraction. Hey, Finn, what brings you by? Finn took a seat beside her on the swing, his expression thoughtful. I heard about Sugar, he said gently. I'm sorry to hear she's not doing well. Have you figured out what's wrong with her? Sheila shook her head, her brow furrowed with worry. Not yet. I've tried everything I can think of, but she just seems off. It's like she's lost her spark, you know. Finn nodded sympathetically, his gaze drifting out to where Shipper stood in the field. I know how much she means to you, Sheila. If there's anything I can do to help, just let me know. Sheila smiled gratefully, touched by his offer of support. Thanks, Finn. I appreciate that. As they sat together in companionable silence, Sheila couldn't shake the feeling that there was more to Sugar's decline than met the eye. But before she could dwell on it further, the sound of a car pulling into the driveway drew her attention. Sheila glanced over to see Steffi, Finn's mother, stepping out of the car with a weary expression. Concern flared in Sheila's chest at the sight of Steffi, knowing all too well the struggles she had faced in recent years. Steffi approached the porch with a heavy sigh, her shoulders slumped with fatigue. Hey, Finn. She greeted him with a weak smile before turning to Sheila. Sorry to bother you, but I was hoping we could talk. Sheila nodded, motioning for Steffi to take a seat. Of course, Steffi. What's on your mind? Steffi hesitated, her gaze flickering with uncertainty. It's about sugar, she began, her voice faltering slightly. I know this might sound strange, but I think I know what's wrong with her. Sheila's eyes widened in surprise, her curiosity peaked. What do you mean? she asked, leaning in closer. Steffi took a deep breath, her hands trembling slightly in her lap. I think, I think she's grieving, she admitted, her voice barely above a whisper. For sugar's full. Sheila's heart skipped a beat at the revelation, her mind racing to make sense of Steffi's words. Sugar's full, she echoed, her voice barely more than a breath. Steffi nodded, her gaze distant as she recounted the story. Years ago, when Sugar was still young, she had a foal, she explained. But something went wrong during the birth, and the foal didn't make it. Sheila felt a lump form in her throat as she listened to Steffi's tale, her heart aching for Sugar and the loss she had endured. I had no idea, she murmured, her voice thick with emotion. Steffi reached out to squeeze her hand in silent understanding, her eyes brimming with unched tears. I don't think any of us did, she said softly but I saw the way Sugar looked at the spot where her foal was buried, and it broke my heart. Sheila swallowed hard, her mind spinning with newfound insight. Could it be that Sugar's apparent decline was not due to old age, but to the weight of unresolved grief? It was a sobering thought, one that filled her with a sense of urgency to help her cherished companion find peace. Determined to ease Sugar's burden, Sheila turned to Finn with a determined glint in her eye. We need to do something for her, she declared, her voice resolute. We need to help her heal. Finn nodded in agreement, his expression mirroring her determination. I'm with you, Sheila. Whatever you need, just say the word. With Finn's support by her side, Sheila set out to create a memorial for Sugar's lost foal, a place where she could come to pay her respects and find solace in her grief. Together, they worked tirelessly to transform a corner of the pasture into a peaceful sanctuary, adorned with wildflowers and surrounded by the soothing sounds of nature.